The showdown between Caitlin Clark and Paige Beckers during March Madness has ignited a fierce debate among basketball enthusiasts. Clark's stellar performance, scoring 41 points against LSU in the Elite Eight, propelled her team to the Final Four and sought redemption for Iowa's previous title game defeat in 2023. On the other side, Beckers and the Yukon Huskies secured their 35th consecutive NCAA tournament appearance, defeating Syracuse and advancing to the last weekend of March Madness. Following the games, UConn's head coach Gino Oriema made headlines by asserting Becker's superiority, stating, You know, we have the best player in America. And, you know, just saying that because the numbers in this world of analytics, the numbers say that she is. This statement fueled discussions about statistical comparisons between Clark and Becker's particularly given Oriema's rejection of Clark's scholarship offer from UConn years ago. The clash of these NCAA stars has captivated audiences, with Clark's explosive scoring abilities and Becker's consistency sparking debates about who truly holds the crown. In the 2019 FIBA World Cup, Caitlin Clark and Paige Beckers showcased their prowess as they played together for Team USA's U19 squad, clinching gold with a victory against Australia. Their paths have since diverged, with their 2024 stats shedding light on their individual performances. Caitlin Clark, representing Iowa, exhibited remarkable numbers in 36 games, averaging 31.7 points, 8.9 assists, 7.3 rebounds, along with 1.8 steals and 0.5 blocks per game. Her shooting split of 46-38-86 on 23-14-7 volume underscores her offensive versatility. Contrastingly, Paige Beckers from UConn played 37 games and maintained impressive stats as well, scoring 21.9 points, 3.8 assists, and grabbing 5.1 rebounds per game. Noteworthy are her 2.2 steals and 1.4 blocks per game, alongside a shooting split of 54-42-83 on 15-5-4 volume. Despite the perception of Becker's superior efficiency, the statistics reveal an interesting twist. Caitlin Clark, with higher usage rates, showcases better averages, a testament to her impact on Iowa's gameplay. Becker's journey hasn't been without hurdles. Grappling with a knee injury for two seasons, she sought a triumphant return. Her recent performance, scoring 28 points and securing a double-double, speaks volumes about her determination and skill. ESPN's rankings in 2020 positioned Beckers as the top high school prospect, while Clark held the fourth spot. Since their last face-off in 2021, anticipation has been high for their upcoming match, especially given Clark's elevation of women's basketball with unprecedented attention and success. And this time, even though Clark prevailed as the victor, the game was clad with controversies. The stage is set for a compelling showdown between these exceptional athletes, each vying for supremacy on the court. Both Caitlin Clark and Paige Beckers have established themselves as dominant forces in collegiate basketball. They've each claimed prestigious awards like the John R. Wooden Award, Naismith College Player of the Year, and AP Women's College Basketball Player of the Year. However, a perspective-based comparison unveils nuances in their gameplay. Clark's offensive impact is undeniable, averaging over 30 points per game due to her significant utilization by Iowa. This focused usage, though effective, limits diversity in Iowa's gameplay strategies. On the contrary, Beckers operates within a more balanced team dynamic at UConn, sharing the spotlight with formidable players like Aaliyah Edwards. This diversity can sometimes overshadow Beckers' individual contributions. In terms of shooting efficiency, Beckers holds an edge, sinking baskets at a higher rate despite fewer attempts compared to Clark. Furthermore, Becker showcases superior defensive prowess with a higher average of steals per game. The world of college basketball isn't just about the games, it's also about the lucrative world of name, image, and likeness deals. Caitlin Clark, a standout for the Hawkeyes, has secured a staggering NIL valuation of 783 k Her endorsements range from giants like Nike and State Farm to Buick and Gatorade, showcasing her marketability and star power. In a recent interview with ESPN, Clark expressed gratitude for being part of the first wave of collegiate athletes benefiting from NIL deals, allowing them to build their own brand off the court. On the other side, Paige Beckers, a rising star at UConn, boasts an NIL valuation of 651 k fueled by partnerships with companies like Duncan, Nike, Bose, and Gatorade.
Despite a lower valuation compared to Clark, Becker's global appeal and potential for future deals as she continues her college career could see her crossing the million-dollar mark. The buzz around Ice Cube's $5 million offer for Clark adds another layer to the narrative. While some view it as a significant development, others speculate it might be a publicity stunt. As fans witness the on-court brilliance of Clark and Beckers in the ongoing NCAA season, the off-court business side adds another dimension to their rivalry. The battle isn't just about points on the scoreboard, it's about securing deals, building brands, and leaving a lasting legacy, both on and off the court. Just before their anticipated face-off on April 5, 2024, NBA legends shared their insights on Caitlin Clark and Paige Becker's potential in the WNBA. On Gill's Arena podcast, Lexi Brown weighed in, highlighting Paige as a better player than Clark due to her scoring prowess and potential impact on the court. However, she acknowledged the depth of talent in the Indiana Fever, particularly with Kelsey Mitchell, the third all-time leading scorer, adding complexity to the decision-making process. I don't know if they're going to bring Caitlin in to be more of a distributor. She's obviously going to score, but they have a lot of scoring threats on that team. They got the girl who's in third place, Kelsey Mitchell. Despite being ranked fourth in high school prospects in 2020, Caitlin Clark's phenomenal collegiate career positions her as a strong candidate for the WNBA draft in 2024, with high chances of being picked by the Indiana Fever. Conversely, Paige Beckers, while highly talented and who was the number one high school prospect in 2020, is likely to continue her college basketball journey as she expressed intent to stay for the next season. Place all-time leading scorer is going to be on the same team as the current first place all-time mm. leading scorer, which the fact that no one is really talking about that mm -hmm. is weird to me because mm -hmm. you have two of the greatest college scorers in basketball history on the, same team. on the same team. So if I'm a fever, I'm still going with Clark. You still go with Clark? The discussion surrounding their WNBA prospects adds another layer of intrigue to their ongoing rivalry and showcases the depth of talent in women's basketball. As fans eagerly await their future decisions, the debate on their potential impact in professional basketball continues to unfold. But things weren't that far away, you know. Finally, Iowa and UConn faced each other in this year's NCAA Final Tour. In what was expected to be a clash of titans, the Iowa Hawkeyes and UConn Huskies faced off in a game that ended with controversy. Iowa advanced to the title game against South Carolina, defeating UConn, and leaving many debating the contentious offensive foul call in the Final Four matchup. While Caitlin Clark and Paige Beckers were the focal points, other stars like Gabby Marshall made significant contributions. Following the game, Caitlin Clark praised Gabby Marshall, labeling her the best sidekick and highlighting her crucial plays throughout the season. Gabby Marshall just comes up with big defensive plays all the time. Like you see it time and time again for us, um, and she doesn't get enough credit for what, what she does. She guards one of the best players in the country. The game's turning point came with a controversial offensive foul call against Aaliyah Edwards, leading to two free throws for Iowa. Despite the uproar over the referee's decision, Clark acknowledged Paige Becker's toughness and credited Marshall for guarding her effectively. Clark also emphasized the importance of defense, particularly Marshall's efforts in containing Beckers. For Clark and Beckers, this was their final chance at a championship in college basketball. While Clark continues her pursuit, Beckers' NCAA journey ended disappointingly, and Marshall's defensive prowess played a pivotal role in Iowa's advancement leaving viewers eager to see what unfolds next in this intense basketball saga. But this wasn't their first fight. In their previous matchup, Paige Beckers outperformed Caitlin Clark, leading UConn to a 92-72 victory over Iowa in the Sweet 16. Despite Clark's 21 points and 5 assists, Paige's 18 points, 9 rebounds, and 8 assists proved decisive. However, Iowa couldn't overcome UConn's strength. Although UConn didn't win the championship that year, their head-to-head -head battle showcased the intensity and skill these two players bring to the court. Don't you think the hoop first needs to pit these two NCAA Titans against each other once again for a final verdict? That's all for the day, folks. Stay tuned for more updates as we track the journeys of Caitlin Clark and Paige Beckers, two basketball phenoms shaping the landscape of women's basketball with their exceptional skills and promising futures. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe to NBA Bling and press the bell icon for more such exciting videos. See you next time. Until then, never ever forget to shoot your shot.